Today we're going to replace this 80 amp hour battery that came with our travel trailer with two Renogy 100 amp hour batteries uh, that I got from Amazon. Renogy makes some great stuff, solar panels, uh, solar chargers, and batteries. I'll leave a link for them in the description. We're going to start by removing the propane tanks to give us some more working space. Make sure they're off. sources to the battery. We're going to start by taking off the negative cable first and removing the old battery. We are going to be changing the connections on the end of the cables to the battery here. some pieces of two by three, uh, put them in there, they're the perfect height to bring us right above this metal lip here. We're just going to spray paint them black to make them match the trailer a little more, plus they're not, uh, you know, outdoor treated wood, so that'll help them last a little longer, it's not rot from the weather. Uh, we'll get those painted and while they're drying we'll change out the cable ends on the battery connections. So, we want to start by obviously cutting the old one off don't worry i will pick up all my litter i promise and before we even strip that let's take one of our compression lugs here pick these up from uh, lowe's for just a dollar or so a piece Want to just barely stick out the end there. And then we're going to go a little bit under it. I don't have a big enough pair of strippers, that's why I'm using the uh, utility knife. But you 
just get around there a couple times. Cutting away from yourself. I am not by any means saying this is a safe way to do it. This is just how I'm doing it. There we go. Stripped off. Put that on there. Make sure it gets all the way on there. As far as you can get it. I might have over stripped it just a little bit. That's okay. We'll just trim it down a hair. Sure you get all the strands in there. You don't want nothing hanging out the sides. There we go. We're on. Now all we gotta do is crimp it. I got a pretty small uh, pair of crimpers here. We're gonna see if they work. You want that thing really tight. You want any wiggle room in there at all. This is DC voltage, direct current. You know, not like the stuff you have in your normal sticks and bricks house where your microwave runs off of. That's uh, 120 AC. Um, while you're not supposed to, that stuff will operate with a loose connection. DC will not. Nice and tight. It don't move. It don't go nowhere. All the strands are nice and bunched up in the one there. That's a good connection. All right, let's move on to the next one. it off <sighs> strip it we know about how far we need to go down from doing the other one Strip that one off about perfect. <laughs> Got that one nice and tight too. Now on to putting in our little wood slats here. Uh, they should be dry by now. We'll put them in here with some self uh, tapping screws. And then we'll get the battery boxes in and we'll start hooking everything up.
Yep. Got our special silver dipped hardware that came with the uh, batteries. strip out the threads in your battery but you do want them pretty snug bolt washer lock washer another washer cable negative No matter how you hook these up when it comes to the cables that go to the coach, you can put them on either one of these, you can put them on either one of these when it comes to ground or negative. You just want to make sure that the actual batteries hooked together are positive to positive, negative to negative. all your connections before you put everything back together. Wires where they're supposed to go. have it two brand new Renogy AGM batteries uh, to replace the old lead acid one make sure we got power go back and turn our batteries on Power. 
my converter is off, so I know that that's coming from the batteries. Here in the future, hopefully soon, we'll be adding a couple more solar panels. We only have one 100 watt panel up there at the current moment, but uh, there'll be a video of that when we get them. We'll also be putting on a 3000 watt inverter. That way we can get rid of the generator for the most part when we're traveling on the road and boondocking. The only reason we'll ever need the generator after that is 40 AC or if we need to charge up our batteries. But I'll leave the links in the description for uh, the batteries and the cables and anything else that I used in the video. Please like, share, and subscribe uh, to get more videos like this, videos of us on the road, national parks, state parks, and just join the adventure, guys. Thanks.